Hello you beautiful NJ people, my name is Gold Gigo and welcome back to another Bedrock Redstone Basic video. So yeah, if this is your first time watching, Bedrock Redstone Basics is a short little series that I'm doing to show you guys how to make some pretty cool circuits that will be extremely useful. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make flying machines. This includes two normal flying machines as well as one two-way flying machine. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So yeah, if you guys want to get up a bit more close and personal with these designs, I'll pop a download link in the description so you can go and download it from there as well if you want to try it out for yourself. But without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so first up we have this design over here. Now, as you can see, it is only one block high and so it is kind of ideal if you want a flat flying machine. If you want a shorter flying machine, you'll want to use this second one, but we'll get to that one in a second. Let's just finish up this one first. So I'm not going to build a block by block tutorial, but you can kind of see what you need to do. This piston needs to be a normal piston and this piston needs to be a sticky piston. Now, the normal piston needs to face in the direction that you want to travel. So let's say I want to travel towards um, that ballboard over there. We're going to be placing this piston just like that and then build the rest of the machine. So remember, normal piston, direction that you want to go. So the way that you're going to be um, activating it is by quickly powering and depowering the normal piston or by activating this observer that is behind the normal piston. Since this observer will power this slime block, which is a solid block, so it will power this um, good old piston over here. Now, in my experience, observers can sometimes be a bit of a pain to work with, so this next one doesn't rely on that. So for this one, we're going to be using these guys, redstone blocks. Now, the way that you build it is quite similar to the previous one. We have a normal piston and a sticky piston over here. And then on top of it, we have a slime block and an observer. Now, the redstone block is going to be going on top of the normal piston. But just be aware that as soon as you place this guy, the flying machine will start to fly forward. Now, you can do one of two things to toggle this. The first thing that you can do is to place down a piston just over there with the redstone block like that. And as soon as you power this piston, it will push the redstone block across and this will activate the flying machine. The second way is my preferred method of doing it. And it is also the method that I used for creating my rideable rocket ship. By the way, if you haven't watched that video yet, links in the iCards, go watch it, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Now the way that we do this is actually quite simple. All that you need to do is to come over to this one that has the sticky piston and place down a piston just like that and power this piston. Now in case you didn't know, extended pistons count as immovable objects. And so this piston will actually act as a toggleable, non-movable object if that makes sense. Now here is that same concept but a little bit more professionally as you can see, we have two sticky pistons, a redstone block, a normal piston, a repeater on four ticks and a piece of redstone dust. And as soon as we depower it, then you can see the machine will start to fly and our little stopper will move out of the way. Now, lastly, over here, we have the one that you have probably been the most excited for, and that is the two-way flying machine. Now, this is a design that I based off of um, one that I saw on a Silent Whisper, Whispers video. Uh, I'll try to find that video and link it in the description. Another thing that is extremely important to remember with this two-way flying machine is the fact that it only works when flying from north to south. Now, if you don't know where north and south is, um, just wait for the sun to come up since it will come up in the east and setting the west. So you know that since it will travel like this, you need your flying machine to travel like that. Now if you're interested in a, fl a two-way flying machine that um, can fly in all four of the directions, um, 
I will link a video to one that I've made in the iCards and in the description as well. So you can check out that one if you would like to. But this one is considerably easier to make. And as you can see, we have two sticky pistons over here, not normal pistons these times. And then we kind of have this weird L-shaped slime block layout with two observers on either side. Now this little circuit over here and over there is just to um, firstly stop this um, flying machine and to return it to its original position. So as you can see when we turn off this lever the flying machine will start to travel in the other direction. Now sometimes it will kind of buffer like that when changing directions but that is completely normal don't worry about that it will never happen as when the machine is actually flying and it will also not break when doing that it might just be stuck for a second or so now the launching station is incredibly simple to make all that we have is an observer on this at the bottom of this observer so you want to use the piston that is facing towards the wall that you're launching off of and this will just run into a block powering this redstone line flying going all the way to this piston which will be in front of this observer and the way that we turn it off is just by simply powering this redstone line which will constantly power this piston meaning we can't update um, the observer on this side there's a similar thing on this on the returning side except the whole circuit is inverted so we have a so it's exactly the same except the observer is now on this side instead of this side so yeah hopefully you guys found this video useful and like i mentioned there will be a download link in the description if you want to try it out for yourself but yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see all of you again in the future with a brand new video cheers yeah, I, I can't do that high-pitched bite that I used to do. So I, I, I need to find a new outro, but I don't know what to do. Um, if you have made it this far, leave, leave, a, leave a comment, leave a suggestion. Cheers.